Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and I'm coming to you from Oakland Township, Michigan, where we're going to renovate an existing front yard pondless waterfall that was built by another contractor. We're going to head up there. It's in the background right now. You can see it. Um, that was built by another contractor, but it leaks. So I met with the homeowners a couple months back, but we're here today and we're going to get started on it. So let's go up there and take a look and see what we've got ahead of us. So this is what we've got. We've got a, a pondless waterfall. Now the stream looks pretty wide, but based on what we see here, the, uh, the basin's pretty small. So we need to have minimum double the amount of water storage here. So that way when you pull the half of it out, for the stream, we've got some in reserves. So let's take another peek up here. We're gonna change this up. We're gonna push this back, create some extra aqua blocks in here for water storage. Give them a little bit different look. I'm seeing liner right here. Not much room at all for water on top of this cobblestone before it goes underneath the liner. Not a good sign. The moss is uh, evidence that he hasn't had it run for quite a long time. And it's just uh, starting to form. It looks cool, but it's gonna change. They've got a different type of spillway in here. We're gonna install the Aquascape waterfall spillway box change the look so it's not just a bunch of flat stones that are starting to disintegrate. Uh, we probably will keep the same angle so that will greet guests as they walk up the door. We'll take out all the boulders, set them to the side. We're going to start with some new liner underlayment, create some different drops in here. So we're going to do what we do. All you have to do is follow along. <laughs> So it's not an overly aggressive waterfall. I think our plans were to use the existing pump. Once we pull that pump out, we're gonna just we're gonna see how how big it is. Maybe we can. Um, maybe it's just clogged. Maybe we need to upsize the pump. But it's just a meandering stream here. The water level doesn't get too high, but. That area I pointed out earlier is well underwater here. Water is going right behind the liner here. Not a good sign. So it's time to get to work. All right, so we've taken the rock work down at the uh, waterfall spillway and this is just this one it's a nice spillway but a little bit too complicated for for my taste so we're going to bring in the aquascape uh, waterfall spillway for that we've started collecting rocks along the side protecting the uh, stamp concrete so what we found We've got the ball removed. Uh, they've got a double layer of aqua blocks in here that really doesn't 
make the uh, storage bigger. Um, we would have chosen to make the basin bigger and use large aqua blocks versus all small aqua blocks for how they did it. It's neither here nor there, so um, we're going to track across the basin itself, start removing all this gravel. Oh, another thing we, we had noticed, this must have been leaking and several contractors have been called out. The homeowner came out and mentioned. So original liner down here and I guess their solution was let's just put another liner on top of it for added insurance. Um, well, that's just not forward thinking. So that's a naughty, naughty, no, no. Naughty, naughty, no, no. That's right. Um, so we're going to get the gravel. We're going to place it on the boards to the side over here. And then uh, we're going to start picking these rocks out, making changes to the grade and taking it from there. It's a no time lapse video to see the production, but we've got 100% of the bordering stones in, all the drops are in. Ran short on some gravel. What we do have left, we'd have to hand pick, so we decided to go up and buy some gravel just in some bags. We're going to be adding some soil on the back side of the liner. And since we didn't dig out any soil for the excavation of the, the basin down here, um, we don't have any soil, so we're using bag soil as well. We want to take the liner and just fold it just to the back side of those rocks. That'll ensure that the water stays in the system itself. No leaks. Don't want to have any leaks. We also don't want to just take and put gravel on the outside because that's not really a natural look. We want the homeowners to be able to do some plantings along the outside of the streams here. Um, again, it does make it look natural. So we're going to be working again today. This is day day three. We're going to be finishing up a lot of this today. One of the most time consuming things is because we don't have the soil, because there are existing plantings, there needs to be a retaining wall on the back side of the, the spillway box. and it's got to hold everything in place. Almost there. We'll show you what the finished product looks like uh, once we get it up and running. All right, so final day here in Oakland Township on our renovation pondless waterfall in the front yard. So we got all the details done. 
I know you want to see it. So let me show it to you. Turn the camera around. Boom. A lot different than was before, huh? So we've increased the basin size. Instead of only having four aqua blocks in here, we now have the correct amount. We have seven aqua blocks plus our vault. We added this drop right here. Another drop there. We actually lowered the waterfall spillway. If you remember right, it was a lot higher than that. We're containing all the water. It's looking good right now. Except for that mum right there. That mum is tilted over. I'll go fix that in a minute. Thanks for watching and let's catch you on the next one. All right, so this was a two-man job. What did you like most about it? Are you asking me? I'm pointing the camera right at you. What will I like most about it? What did you like most about this project? The materials were here already. We didn't have to haul anything in? No. Maybe a little bit of gravel and some, a little bit of dirt, but boulders were here. What was the hardest part on this job? Uh, the soil conditions. What soil? We didn't have any soil. What did you dislike most about this project? Uh, we're limited on staging areas to put materials as we were taking it apart. So everything that came out had to go someplace until, until we could make some adjustments and then put it back in. Correct. My favorite part on this job, I would have to say, I mean, we're standing out in the street right now. I think it looks great from here. I mean, you pull up the driveway at the end of the day, boom. I mean, this is greeting people. It's got lights all over it. So I guess that's what's gonna be my favorite part. My answer for what my favorite part is, is just the outcome, the looks, I think from before and after. Uh, I have to agree with Brian that the uh, staging on this job trying to keep everything out of our way while we're trying to do work but not move it too far so it makes the job go a lot longer let us know what you think about this project and again we'll catch you on the next one